Hi everybody, we're going to go over a division problem using estimating for a quotient first. Then instead of using the calculator, we're going to actually do the division algorithm. And uh, tomorrow we're going to focus in on dividing actually using our decimals. So let's start out by estimating. When I first look at this problem, oops, I want to look at the 13 and make it into something easy to use. So instead of dividing by 13, I want to divide by 10. So if I want to divide it by 10, because it's easy to do, I want to look at 4,732 and go, okay, what is that close to? And to make it as simple as possible, about 5,000. So when I look at 5,000 divided by 10, I know that this is really 500 tens. And this is really just one set of 10. So I'm getting rid of the tens place value or the place value. So I can just really just have 500 divided by 1. To simplify it really quick. So I know that my estimate is going to be pretty close to 500. So then we go ahead and we set up the actual division problem. So we're going to take 4,732 and put it inside of the bracket. That's the dividend. That's the number we're going to be dividing. And we're actually dividing by 13. So 13 is not in your multiplication chart. So sometimes it's easier just to go ahead and over on the side, we'll do our 13s. So 13 times 1, 13 times 2, 13 times 3, Then we have these that we can refer to when we're doing our actual division. It'll take some of the guesswork out of it. And we can keep going. I will add more if we need it. Let's go ahead and just start our division first, but at least we have a good start. So I want to start out with looking at how many sets of 13 are in 47. So we don't even really need to look at the 3 and the 2. We're just going to look at the 47. So over here, I can see when I'm looking, I can see I can get 13 times 3 is 39. 13 times 4 is too big. So directly above the 47, I'm going to say I can get three sets. This is our division part. Three sets of 13 out of 47. Then comes our multiplication step. So three sets of 13 is 39. We take that number and subtract it from our number in the dividend. So 47 minus 39 is actually 8. And then we check to make sure that that number is smaller than our dividend and 8 is smaller than 13. So we can bring down the next number from the dividend, keeping everything lined up. So now I'm looking at how many 13s can I get into 83. So if I go over to look at the right, I can see I've got 6 sets of 13 is 78. 7 sets of 13 is 91. That's too high. So we're going to use 6 sets. That 6 is going to go directly above the 3 that we just brought down. And here's our multiplication step. Six sets of 13 is actually 78. When we subtract, 83 minus 78 is 5. So this is our check step. 5 is smaller than 13. So we can bring down the next number. And it looks like I forgot to put that symbol up there. Bring down to get a 52 now is what we're dividing by 15. So again, looking over to the right, I can see that I have exactly a 52. 13 times 4 is 52, which tells me I can get 4 sets of 13 out of 52. There's my division step. When I multiply it out, 4 times 13 is 52. Subtract, I have 0 left over, which there's no other number spring down, so my final answer is exactly 364. This is at the point that if you would like to, you can check your final answer to make sure that there's many places that you could have made a mistake in the algorithm. But if you want to check it with a calculator, we can pull a calculator over and do a quick check. 4,000, 
732 divided by 13 is equal to 364. Now, I also want to go back and look at my estimate. My estimate is 500. So our places of value, they're both in the hundreds with our answer, but I also know that my, answer, my estimate was going to be an overestimate. My actual number was 4,732. I went over to 5,000. My actual divisor was 13, but we rounded that down to 10, so I'm actually going to get more sets of that. So it is a reasonable estimate. It's only a little over 100 away, and the greatest place of value is in the 100. So we know that we did okay. All the work is checked, and that should help you when you do your homework tonight with the problem set, just one through five.